Hey everyone, I'm Anthony Machos. This week with Sports Report, BHS once again had another big week of athletes. Bruins running back and linebacker Joey Poland has been named to the Boston Heroes Division IV Massachusetts All-State team with the paper recognizing Poland's tremendous senior year for the Red Devils. According to the Herald, Poland rushed for 1,594 yards, 20 touchdowns on 192 carries, and 21 catches for 234 yards. Defensively, he made 135 tackles and four sacks on defense. Congrats, Joey. Girls volleyball players, junior and outside hitter Grace Seaman, Ula Renkinvucha, and Karina Boyajev all made Herald's All Scholastic and League All Stars as well. Congrats, ladies. B News Sports reporter Robert Paris had more on football athlete Charlie Andriola, who now knows his future after high school. 2023 senior football captain and lineman Charlie Andriolo will be going to Endicott College as he will be continuing his career on the playing field for football. Once I heard about Endicott, I heard nothing but good things. Uh, one of my coaches went there and he said he loved it. So I looked around the campus, loved the place, great business program, which is what I want to do. And obviously amazing football program. And they really have a strong brotherhood there is what I was looking for in a team, so that made my decision pretty easy. He has learned a lot from all of his coaches, including head coach of Red Devil football, George Balian. He really just made me grow as a person. He kind of maybe developed me into who I am, and then obviously as a line, he did. He's a defensive genius. He got me moving laterally and really helped me use my speed to my advantage, which I think helped me, which is going to help me in the next level, and then obviously in the weight room in the summer teaching me everything I know and making me the kid I am today. As he wraps things up as a Red Devil, Charlie will reminisce everything here at BHS. But he said, all good things must come to an end. Senior year sports, always fun. Sad to see him go. Football, the best season I've ever played out of every single sport. And it sucked to see it go. But and now I'm starting hockey again. And we'll be going to senior night for that. And I've played hockey since I was six or seven. So it's going to be tough to see that go. Same thing when lacrosse comes by, you know. But it's good. It's good to all good things come to an end, and I think this is this is going to be the season, the year to end all years, as I'd say, you know, and go off on a high note. Andriolo is excited to see what the future holds for him as an Endicott Gull. I'm looking for the new experience. I mean, I've been living a day-to-day -day routine every single day for the past four years, and this is something out of the ordinary. Meeting a bunch of new people, I have a hundred new friends off the bat on the football team, and. Obviously, just continuing to play football, and that's, that's what I wanted to do since day one. And now that I've now that I got the opportunity to, I'm excited, super excited. From Burlington High School, I'm Robert Paris for B News Sports. Boys swimming are 0 six this season after two losses to Winchester on the 18th, 85 to 76, and Lexington 74 to 20 on January 21st. The Devs have their final meet on January 25th in Arlington. After 137.2 to 124.3 win over Wakefield on the 18th, the Lady Devils Gymnastics is now 4-0. Bruins will be in Wilmington next Monday, the 29th. The boys' track team came in second place out of 22 at the Division III Massachusetts State Track Coaches Association Relay Championship on January 21st. Ryan Brooks, Sean Cox, Dylan Giles, and Colin Irwin all qualified for a spot in the New Balance Nationals in March during their performances in the Spring Meter Relay. As for the girls track team, the Devils came in 10th out of 22nd in the MSTCA Relay Championship on January 21st. The top finisher was Charlize Collins, who came in 3rd place in the long jump relay with 5.09 meters. For both teams, the JV Championship meet will take place on January 25th at the track at New Balance in Boston. Girls basketball lost to the Wilmington Wildcats on the 19th, 48-32. The boys competed against them as well. We go to the highlights. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Cross. Red Devil Basketball returned home for a league matchup with the Wilmington Wildcats. In the first quarter, Burlington put up 24 points, while the Wildcats had 18. 24 to 18 after one. The Devils brought their lead up a bit by adding another 17 points in the second. And Wilmington had 12. 41 to 30, Devils at half. Third quarter, back from halftime. Burlington added another 13 points, while the Wildcats had 17. It was getting close going into the fourth, 54 to 47. Burlington had the fourth quarter under control by adding another 17 points while the Wildcats with seven. Burlington took home the big victory, 71 to 54. BHS Athletic Director Sean Hart presented senior Cedric Rodriguez with a basketball recognizing his 1,000th point before tip-off with the Wildcats. Congratulations, Cedric, and good luck the rest of the way. 
The girls remained home for a date with Winchester on the 23rd. We go to the highlights. Girls varsity basketball took on Winchester High School on the evening of January 23rd. Let's hit the court. In the first quarter, Burlington put up 11 points while Winchester had 16. For the half, the Devils added 4 points while Winchester added 16 more. 32-15 to 15 going into halftime, Winchester. Burlington only added 3 points on the board in the third, while Winchester added 9. 41 to 18. In the fourth, Winchester finished it off with another 14 points while the Devils had 7. 55 to 25 was the final Winchester. The boys won their game 59 to 21 at Winchester. Both teams will host the Stone of Spartans on January 26th at the Vanilla Gym. The Lays are now 1 and 11 while the boys are 8 and 5. Lay Devils hockey are on fire this season with an 8 and 1 record. They had two shutout wins over Wakefield 6 to nothing on the 13th and a 2 to nothing win over Malden Catholic on the 9th, 17th. Lady Devils Hockey are now 9-1-1 after a 1-0 win over Hingham on the 20th. Burlington had their first tie of the season in Belmont, 2-2. Red Devil Hockey are 6-5-2 after tying Wilmington 2-2 on the 20th, but got back in the win column with a 2-1 win in Belmont on the 24th. O'Brien Ice Rig will be the next stop for both teams in, on Saturday in the Battle of Wind Street. Red Devil Wrestling lost to Wakefield Memorial 60-6 on January 24th. The record stands at 1-12 this season. Keith Technical will be the next meet on January 31st at BHS. For more Red Devil action, go to bcattv.org slash sports and check out our Twitter page at BNewsports. That's all for now. I'm Anthony Matos. Back to you guys in the studio.